It's summer. The birds are chirping, the weather is warm, and it's time to get to work. In today's episode, we're going to be vlogging our summer prep. Nice. What's freaking going on, guys? It is June 4th, that first Sunday of June. We're getting our cameras together. We're gonna, we're gonna put some batteries in them. We're gonna get some SD cards in. We just spent like $400 worth of stuff on mineral sites and another about 250 just for the first set of cameras. Life's expensive, man. Life sucks. I bought. We waited bought. as long as we could to turn up that tactic camera feel like freaking. I wait. I, I bought batteries last year. I bought 500 of these ultimate lithiums. 500 batteries for 500 bucks. Last year was a dollar battery. And this year it's two dollars battery. So to fill a camera, there's 12 batteries. So 12 times two. <laughs> That's 24 bucks to fill a camera. We have 15 cameras, and we're probably gonna double that. Um. But no, we're gonna get these cameras out. We are itching to get out there. We're trying to find King Neptune. We're trying to find another possible shooter there. We're also trying to find a big eight that was there. We're also trying to find Broken G3, see if he lived. And then hopefully by tonight, we might actually be able, that's actually crazy. Like by tonight, we'll be able to know what DR are in specific areas, so. What is that shot? That's the same way. You're telling me that is the same way as that. It's hollow. Oh my God, that's like a 40. Nice. So we got, I got like three different minerals. Trophy Rock's always gonna be the base because it's always just like a good salt lick, mineral lick, whatever you want to call it. Um, but on top of that, I got three different. I got some pure white tail. It's called Full Throttle. Never used it before. It's expensive. Um, it's got 15 to 18% calcium and a minimum of 9% phosphorus. Um, and some magnesium, some copper, stuff like that. But that's important because that's the majority of what makes up a white tail antler. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna make your freaking white tail turn into giants. Like I'm gonna try, it was expensive. It's a five pound bag, it was like 20 bucks. Um, so we got some of that. I got some white gold and then I got some white tail, white tail Institute, 30 out six or not. 30 out six, White Tail Institute. It smells so good. You really think I it smells could, good? I, I could eat this. Dude, I, I'm like that with a lot of stuff, but this stuff made me gag. Yeah. A big thing that we're gonna utilize a lot this year, uh, and it comes from a couple different people that we've talked to, we love using scrapes, but we're gonna probably hammer scrapes this year as far as making mock scrapes and making them actually look pretty good. Um, because a lot of our spots, we're trying to cut down on like the amount of bait and coin that we use. One, so that people stop complaining to us, but also- I'm so tired of hearing um, that. It's annoying to have to go and get and take out and feed on top of, my God, that scared me. On top of everything else that we have to do. I don't know why I'm using this, I brought a rake. How does this look like for the camera? Oh, uh, give me a sec. I should probably turn it on. Yeah, you can set it up and then turn it on. What? And just like that. First camera set up. First one of the year. Bro, I got a diarrhea cuss. Actually? Yes. All right. All right, so we've arrived at our second location. Um, just kind of on the edge of a couple different properties here. Really excited. We've we haven't had this property long enough to put the minerals, so we're excited to see what it does and what kind of summer deer we have here. But thinking about putting a 
scrape right here. It's a really good tree. There's obviously a couple different trails that intersect right here. And then also we can put a camera right there on that tree, which is exactly perfect. Pretty straightforward. We don't even need to cut anything, honestly, except a couple of these small ones. Yep. Yeah. This will be an easy one. Good to it. Uh, scrapes is a way for them to communicate, and it's also a way for like mature bucks to prove their dominance. So putting a, putting a scrape up with something that they're already gonna hit is kind of gonna get them on a routine. Um, and that's kind of what we want. So, I mean, it's worked in the past for us where we've had deer that only stay in the summer. You start putting up mock scrapes, make it seem like there's more aggressive deer. A lot of times they'll stick around a lot further into early October, sometimes mid October, and then also come back during rut, possibly late season. Um, but it's also just another thing to get them patterned on. It's just good to make scrapes in areas that you plan on hunting and plan on checking. It gives them another reason to come by and check, check the area, so. Let's get out of here. Oh, dude. That's not what it's supposed to do. I literally almost stepped on it. I wish you could feel my heartbeat. I walked, I was right there. The, she was right there. I stepped over it and I freaked the heck out. That's never happened to me before. I've never seen that. Man, that was actually a really cool experience. I've never, I've never I was gonna really take my phone and take a picture. I mean, you could literally probably feel how warm it is. Is that blood? That's freaking a cool experience, but oh my gosh, that, like, bro, that could have given me a heart attack. We could have had our own pet deer, bro. I wish, like, obviously you're not supposed to touch them, but it'd be cool to have as a pet. I mean, at this point in its life, it probably could be domesticated. It literally oh, 100%. Just was born probably like a few days ago. Yeah. That's crazy. This video is brought to you by the Declaration of Independence. Uh, this is the property that Poseidon was on last year. And so we're coming back in here. There's like this swampy area that you can obviously see. It hasn't rained, uh, probably a drop of rain here in 10 days. And you can see where it's receded some, but this is it's like five to 10 degrees cooler out here than out there in the sun. Dude, it's, tell me this isn't cinematic, dude. Like if you're just posing right here with a giant buck at night, and you can just, you have all this as your background. It really just gets the whole swamp donkey thing going. This is a setup with a lot of tracks all the way around here, but we got corn, beans on this side and then corn right here, bedding kind of-ish and some water in between. I'm ecstatic about the setup. Yeah, it looks good. We're gonna put up one more camera at this property. See, there was Poseidon that was here and then there was another probably around 150-ish inch buck. Uh, the one you guys click right here, uh, how to find a 150-inch whitetail. Yeah, so. He's the thumbnail cover of that one. So the deer that's on the thumbnail of that video was also at this location. There's also a couple other ones that look like they had some freak potential. So you really never know. I mean, when you give a deer the proper nutrients and they feel safe, they can grow some pretty big antlers. Probably. Well, imagine how easy it'd be you know how like in Hunter Call of the Wild, you can like pattern and it'll tell you like the weight and the inch class. You could just go up and look at like a rub and you're like, ah, eh, 120 to 140 or it's like 170 to 190. Yeah, it like tells you like how heavy they were and everything. Hey. What bro doesn't want to let you guys know, and what he's too humble to admit, he was a he was top 250 in Call of Duty at one point, and he doesn't even play that much. And I'm single. And he's single. <laughs> Walking through this field, no disrespect to Justin, I'm out here dusting on my J's. Mmm, yo, Loki, I've been working on the rhymes. They might call me Mike Dines, the way I'm squeezing these lines. Jeez, baby, you're looking like a dime. That's a crime. Come
first, yeah, first bunch of the season. There's, there's nobody behind me. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Creek Kings. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to support the channel. If you got anything from the channel, if you think we're entertaining, if you want us to keep making these videos, drop a comment in the comment section down below and let us know. It means a lot to us. Creek Kings out.